All right. Four two three from uh, Forte in the tree. Nail the uh, second four two he does. The freeze back three, jump three. Drops the combo. I think he's going for a pseudo reset. Pressure from Sad. Ooh, command grab. Mm. Blocks the string. The chain's doing work for Zab. All tournament. Scoop. No punish. Mm. Nice fear blast. Right, that's what I'm calling. I don't know what it is. Footsie. Forward two is such a great footsie tool in this game. Get a laser, down two, blast. I don't think that's optimal for Forte. The jump two whips. Even the pressure trying to open Forte up gets him. Back three blocked, down two. I think, yeah, Zap has full fear toxin, but down two to close out the first life bar. The low or the full screen mid. Jump three in. And now Forte taking the first bar from Zap. Four two three trait. Four two three breath. Actually finishing the Superman combo this time. Zap with no real answer. He has like no real reversal to get out of the situation. Confess your fears. I'm afraid for your safety. Okay, so the clash was tied. Throwing interaction was not quite the distance that Zap was hoping for. Teleport challenged and punished. This would be the first game for Forte. Superman wins. Begin. Alright, so we're going in the second game. Opting to stay with the same stage. Mm. Zab gets the first bar on meter this time. Opting to use pressure to get the um, command grab. Boom, overhead, not blocked by uh, Forte. Using the interactable too to get more damage. This can be big for Forte. He can even it up easily here. If you look at Forte's life, it's so taken away because the fear toxin gas around uh, Scarecrow. Keeping him in the corner, like mounting pressure. Ooh, another command grab. There's a quick first bar for uh, Zap right there. Hey, he was in the Red Sun prison for a while. He's weaker right now. Give him a break. The Forte opting the zone, baiting up Tupper and punishing it. Down two from Zap. Combo extender, Fear Tox. This can be big damage from Forte, possibly a reset. Whips the second 4 2, or 4 3, I mean. Hmm, teching out. No punish from Forte. He could have used lasers. Hmm. Nice, that's going to waste some of his trait, too. Hmm, blocking 4 2 3 breath. Not able to challenge it. Smart move from Zab not trying to anti it. So close for Zap right now too. Oh, four three whiffs. This could be it for uh, oh the clash from Forte. He has three bars, so he's definitely gonna win the clash by how much? Using the fear toxin to gauge the projectile. What are they doing a good job of keeping them out? Nice advancing strength from Zeb. This is going to be a big change right here. Almost enough to kill him. Probably enough to be his chip. Now he's going to make up the distance again. Mm. The fear toxin takes the match for Zap. Nice ass stink, Zap. Nice ass stink. <laughs> Begin. Mm. That's a bad op option to throw him out of the corner. Forte wanted the damage early. Mm. Breath. Blocking the overhead from Scarecrow. Mm. 
meter to burn that uh, earlier, so he could have probably been punished. Hmm, pressure from Zap, plus opens up Forte. Not a lot of damage. Is that poking out with the fear toxin thing? Or breathing in his face. No, oh, nice backdash on the projectile from Zap. Your incompetence is scary. Meter burn dash. He has the sickest meter burn dash. Command grab. Alright, so the low catches in a forte right there. Is that trying to move in and make up the life that he's lost? Ooh, the laser catches, keeping him out. Teleport's in, but to no avail. Clash from Zap. This looking like a strong game for Forte right now. Zap wins the clash, getting a decent amount of life back, but not enough to take the lead. Almost all of it was taken back with that one punch. This could be a big game changer. Forte clashes. Enough with the gas. He's definitely going to win this if he chooses to, or he could choose to keep his meter and, and keep it tied. Okay, so he gets a little bit of life back. Keeping the deficit is pretty big. No punish from Forte on the down two. Nice tech from Zap. The big Superman fist from Forte, taking his second game. Superman wins. Three. Begin. Four two three trait. Four two three breath. Back three. Jump three. Ooh, finishes the four two Superman punch. Hmm. Of course they were relentless with these four two threes right now. Is that trying to mount some offense? Four three block. But four two catches him in the jaw. Jumps in. Almost gets reset. Alright, this will be a big uh, potential for Zap. Ooh, nice Khmer draw, because he's expecting to have to block something. Nice Khmer, that should be the first bar. Now, if Zap plays this right, he can actually get a good life lead for the second bar. Got one, keep it honest. your defeat. Nightmare's not over. Alright, that like, cross-up from Zap was really nasty. He didn't really get much off of it, but it's still sick. Something like it could be Zap's game going to game 5. The interactable hit set, though. The laser zoning from uh, Forte right now is really strong, especially with Trade-On. That means the final way. Ooh, nice full screen big. Just enough to get in. Okay, this could be big for Forte. Choosing to try to keep it unclashable. Ooh, nice jump to the uh, Forte, Forte in the air. So it's 2 2 and we're going to the final game. Okay, now I'm not on the fear toxin. Hmm, trade. Got low from Zap. Keep him, keep him at bay. Like, that was a bad wake up from Forte. No, Zap's gonna capitalize on anything he can. 4-2-3 trade. 
Ooh, it's not plus in this game. Uh, Superman's trade also breaks armor instantly on everything, no matter what hit he does, even his lasers. So he fucks Bane completely. Okay, forward two three, breath from Forte. Forward three, dive bomb reset, misses it, gets punished by Zap. Not a big punish though. Four two three, four two three, breath. Back three again. Jump three, gonna finish the combo. Oh, chooses not to finish the combo properly. Zap opted not to go for damage, but go for uh, resources. Go any more fear. Hmm. This can be big for Forte with the damage buff on. Four three, down two, breath. Goes for a cross up. Nice push block from Forte to get out of the plus frames. Mm, four, two, three. Footsies in a box. Mm, that laser is guided. Mm, four, three. Big clash from Zab. Zab is definitely going to win this. He can probably have to spend two bars and keep one for pressure. Mm, almost max fear. Forte is going with random Superman punches. Keeping it plus. Alright, so Zap still has one bar. Gonna keep. Ooh, nice back dash from Forte to get out of the pressure. Alright, so this could be big for uh, Eric. Ooh, the reset. It's gonna be big. Mm. And the normal doesn't hit Superman in time. And Zap unfortunately is sent to losers in a heartbreaking finish. Broken heart. Heartbreaker. Yeah, that fucking. Uh... That jump too! That jump too lost to the laser. Like, it was coming out. Yeah. This. yeah. All right. All right. So. Let's see here. Kelvin one. Let's see what we got up next. Angelo, play Kelvin. Yo, Kelvin. So up next we're going to have Kelvin versus Dark Steel. So, Kelvin's going to be rocking Robin. Let's see. Dark Steel's probably going to be playing either. What? Firestorm or Blue Beetle? Blue Beetle. He's rocking Blue Beetle. Robin. Spiders approaching Gorilla City. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so no button check. We're going to be going straight into it. Begin. Dark Steel starts off with a sweep and the overhead low. Walk back from Kelvin. Man's the back three. There we go. But drops the ender though. Really good damage though. That gave him a little bit of a life lead. Oh, good back range. Uh, excuse me. 
Good range on the back too. Mm. Mm. And we have invulnerable wake up, so we don't care about your mix. That is a big beam, sir. All this and good looks too. Nice, chases him in out of the air with the sword. Oh, misses meter burn it looked like. Try to keep himself safe. Oh. Not bursting or clashing, I should say. Keep yourself safe. And Dark's still mashing out that reversal. Ooh! Try to go for the dung beetle. Oh, punish! Uh, no punish from Kelvin. It's okay. Back three? Another back three. Oh, was that gonna hit? Oh! <laughs> Robin wins. Kelvin takes the first game. Begin. Very reminiscent of how the last game started. Dark Steel. Getting the first combo open. Good blocks. I love the sound effects on the metal sword though. Pretty good. Meter burn rolls to get in, but they just die right past each other. Good blocks. That's still just kind of mashing his strings out right now. And that blue beetle tackle very reminiscent of uh of Hawk Girl. Darksteel did used to play Hawk Girl in the first injustice. This week. Punish. No, no punish. Oh, gets cracked with the overhead. Misses the back three. And a random back three from Dark Steel. That ship? Yes. Lands the hit. Ooh. There's the clash. Dark still with an early clash too. Could have probably taken some more some more damage before spinning his bar. Or spinning his clash has to say. Ooh, the whiff punch! Jumps. Darksteel now opting to go for the lame game. Just typically how it goes. Darksteel starts losing in the in the up close range, so he starts playing more lame style. Ooh. Kelvin just trying to use all of his wake up options, and they're all landing nothing. Ugh. And he gets tackled for his troubles. Dark still takes game number two. Wins. And an immediate rematch. And Kelvin just trying to work his way in. Finally gets his way in. Could have probably down two. Oh. 
Oh, that's still getting opened up in the corner. Oh! Woo! Completely crapped on in the corner. Meter burns. Dark still not respecting it. The battering on the ground. Shit! Ooh, lands a back three. And Dark Steel not clashing. Holding on to the full stick of butter. Gets opened up again. And there's the clash. Call it a draw? Quit embarrassing yourself. Oh, wake up assassin's run? This man's living on the edge. Oh, there's the grab. Oh, that down two looks really bad. And again, with another wake up. Kelvin's got to try baiting those. Maybe a meter burn back three for the armor? Because it only hits once. Ah. And there we go. Yep. This is what we've devolved to. There's a push block. Kelvin takes game number three. Begin. Alright, we get the dung beetle. Back three, yes. Drops the ender though. I missed out on some really good damage. Oh, didn't convert into the string. Dark still finds the jump in. Yeah, Dark still just fishing for that overhead. Like, he's just throwing it out there now. Oh. And there's the wake up again. Overhead low, here we go. Alright, spins the meter to get the life bar. This is still doable by Kelvin. Ooh, meter burn rolls to get him. I like it. Utilizing the tools of the game. Uh, not sure what that ender was, but he's alright. He's closing the gap on the life lead. Oh my god. The reel back on the 4 3. And Kelvin clashes. He's gonna be able to get 15% of his life back with this clash. Dark Steel realizing the situation that's in hand. He's one win away from, or excuse me, one round away from losing and being eliminated from this tournament. There's the, oh, there's the meter burn. A little too low to the ground. Missed the conversion. And Dark Steel once again creating more real estate. Oh, lands the jump in. Down one, there's a sweep, and there's a dung beetle. Uh, beetle wins. And it's now two to two. Begin. Last game of the set. Kelvin landing first blood here, getting the meter advantage. And positioning on the screen, but swap sides as soon as I say that. Ooh.
And the zoning just too strong right now. Dark Steel just basically giving up on playing the close range game. And just gonna adopt the zoning strategy here. Not punish. The inability to punish that uh, that shoulder tackle or the charge from Blue Beetle is being a real nuisance right now to Kelvin. So mash more down ones. Ooh! Kelvin, just look at the damage. And anybody get the throw, the first throw of the game. The pain isn't over yet. Oh, that's an overhead. Oh, excuse me, a mid. I'm bugging. Uh, this is Blue Beetle, get it, buggy. Oh, Dark Steel walking up, getting the punish. Ooh, Assassin's runs all the way in. Ooh, opens up Dark Steel. Oh no! Oh, they're still get opened up again. Forces off. the clash. He can't save you. All right, spins his resources. He's in. Gets the knockdown. Does not respect the wake up though. Dark still been waking up with it every time. Oh no! Oh, he teched out. Smart choice from Dark Steel, but Kelvin did not clash. Should have clashed there. Double meter burn roll. This is looking pretty grim right now. Yeah, there you have it. Alright, so next up is me versus Vibe. So this should be a loser's semis, I believe. Scarecrow. And uh, of course, you know Zap being the full-time commentator and uh, competitor. Doctor Fate, fighters approaching Brainiac ship. Alright, so let me uh, full screen this for you guys. Alright, so we got Dr. Fade against Scarecrow. Two new characters for this game. Hmm. So, Zab gonna keep some pressure on him. Hmm. Nice down one of the main grab. Could be a really quick first bar for Zab. Of the zoning in, but like, against Scarecrow, it's kind of like not the greatest option. But I think it's a little bit okay for uh, Strange. Hmm. That's gonna be a lot of damage. This might close it out. Fear Toxin definitely. If he gets close, it's not good. You probably just want to stand next to him. Yeah, pulls him in, gets the first game. And thus my enemy. 
Alright, so is that be enough one? He, he doesn't have too much to worry about right now. <clears throat> nice string from uh, Vibe. Is that gonna play is really slow and ooh, catching a lot of little horse like blasts. A nice command grab from uh, Zab. <laughs> Ooh, overhead. I'm not sure if that thing is tracking or not. And blocks. Anti-air projectile. Nothing off of it. And back three wish from Zab. Back three again. Connecting this time. Charging up his trait. The wake up wish from Vibe. That thing is so good at bolt screen. It will hit you when you're crashing. Okay, so Zap already on the second bar for five. Command grab. He's probably gonna do it again too. Ooh, so close enough to tuck it. Low profiling scarecrow. I feel like Zap's gonna uh, command grab crazy because no one really knows how to get out of it that well. Overhead. Nice turn from Zap. Not a lot of damage, but enough. Nice zoning from Vibe. Trying to keep him out. Ooh, keeping Zap out still. Is Zap wakes up with a throw. The dirty deeds. Hmm, nice anti air protect, though. That ball is doing work against uh, Zap right now. Alright, little ball again. Hmm. Zap not finding any open to teleport punish. So I'm not sure if Zap has enough meter to save himself here. Okay, he's got two. He might have the life. Like, yeah, it's about tied now. No jump. Ooh, the jump in. Nope. Not get a good uh, confirm. The pressure from Zap. He gets hit with a down one, so he doesn't do a tick grab. Oh, and he goes to tick grab again. Closes it out. Scarecrow wins. Begin. All right, so two O Zap and ooh, five showing no fucking uh, fear. Fear Toxin buff. Mm, nice anti air from Vibe. Alright, Zap with the throw. The jump speed didn't work for Zap. The pressure is a combo. He's got more pressure on his wake up. More Fear Toxin building. Box projectile. Goes for that full screen mid. Pressure from Zap. It's gonna be tough to get out of this because he can't backdash with anywhere to go. And Zap's gonna take the first bar. So this is gonna be a good mix up for Zap. Ooh, evading the wake up. Vibe trying to jump. Zap catches him. Gets a little bit of damage. Not a lot, but any damage is good damage. Especially when you get a life lead. Overhead. Meteor burn back 3D, forward 3 to keep it unclashed with Grab, still unclashed, this should be a uh, game. So Zap's gonna take it 3 0. Scarecrow wins. Hey Zap, are you staying on? Are you staying on? So we're gonna have uh, our boy Zap, you know, stick around for one more game against uh, the Darkest of Steels. Firestorm, fighters approaching Metropolis. So uh, Angelo opting to play his main character. Come on, Dark High. He didn't kill you, friend. Not this time. Down three, Angelo blocks it, jump two, connected, getting the meter, command grab. 
So, Universe and Factory, no avail. Two in the air. So, these lows hitting so frequently with Firestorm. Really fast uh, special move. Man grab. Ooh, gonna go for it again? No. Just continue the string angel and get hit by it. Down two. Gets a combo. Reading the toxin in him. Gets a check him. Ooh, nice back dash from Angel to avoid. Down three. Ooh, not punishable, but he does get mixed. So jump two ends up connecting. Go buffing in the flames. Go nice beams. These loads. Burning a little bit of the health with that damage over time. Overhead. Anti-air projectile to close out the first life bar for Angelo. Still the first game. Ooh, nice interactable. Interactable from Zap. Trying to get this damage while he can. Putting the fear toxin on. Hmm. Throws the bag. Doesn't hit, but it's a good strategy. Hmm. Pressure into the command grab. Nice meter burn back through from Angelo. We go for the low. Nice meter burn dash from uh, Zed. Keeping the pressure. Down one to interrupt. <laughs> the, the toxin actually killing Angelo when he dashed forward. So Zed's going to take it with the uh, round one stink. Begin. J jump three connecting. Zed so far 100% on the first bar of meter in this set. Slowly walking him to the corner, one of the zoner's least favorite places to be. The pressure, look at this. Command grab. Can we get another one? Ooh, jump three to take out the first bar. Angelo's showing no real answer for what Zap's doing pressure wise in this corner situation. More pressure. Tries to be greedy poking out, gets checked for it. Angel with no real answer, just just getting hurt everywhere. Like there's nothing he's really doing. So that low has not been uh, proving well for Angel after the first round already. That was great defensive skills right now. Man grab on till right now. The back dash gets caught. Jump in, and the jump three connects Angelo, pressing button, so Zap's gonna go up a quick two over right now. Man. Blue Beetle. Scarecrow. Fighters approaching Gorilla City. Mm, so Angelo opting to switch characters, thinking this will be a better uh, choice for this matchup. Begin. So down two with trying to see if Angelo's trying to press buttons forward. So Angelo has the first bar meter in this set, changing the pace of the game. All right, so Angelo's going to run away and zone in, in this kind of variation too. Angelo punished himself, but he didn't really do anything with it. So Zap so can get this uh, combo, Fear Toxin. Tries to check him with a low, the low wisp, but still canceling into his uh, hooks. Fear Toxin. He's at max right now. So I'm looking to see like a command grab somewhere in here. Hmm. Weird uh, juggle from Zap, but hey, it works out. Low profile in the projectile. I know it's a high, but he's low to the ground on him. So these uh, jump numbers are being uncontested by Angelo in any way. Grab from Angelo, switching positions. Down one from Zap, pressure. Opening him up. You're freaking out the scarab! That's the point! 
Alright, so Zap jump two, gets a combo. Pulls him in like he's keeping him really close, which is really smart because he's more of a zone heavy character in this uh, stance. Alright, so Zap jumping in and still no nothing to contest it from Angelo. Alright, so air to air from Angelo finally taking the first bar from Zap. Zap on the way to closing the set out too. 3 0. The Fear Toxin taking a little bit of effect on uh, Blue Beetle as well. The back three. And. Uh, that is jump three. Jump two hits. Uh, lateral. And uh, jump three has a disjointed hitbox where it scoops. So. 3 0. These boys. Who we got? Sid and uh, Forte? Sid and Eric. You want this? Yeah, let me get on here, man. Let me do this shit. Yo, someone tell Forte to come back in here. Tell him to come in. Ugh. All right. No, that's not mine. Alright, people. So, up next, we've got winner's finals. This is going to be Forte versus Sid. But, uh, Forte's, Forte has a phone call outside. So, uh, yeah. We're going to be... <laughs> we're going to be waiting for him. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and play this splash page for you all real quick. Um, if you guys are enjoying the content you're watching tonight, make sure you guys give the channel a follow. Uh, Thursdays we have our FGC night. You know when we have our big numbers for like Street Fighter Five and Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue and stuff like that, we will be streaming those as well. Just that right now everyone's kind of like on the on the on the downswing as far as Street Fighter Five because of the uh, upcoming patch. But once the patch drops, I'm pretty sure more of the Street Fighter guys will be coming out on a regular basis again. But for right now, if you guys want to get your weekly injustice fix, feel free to click that follow button on twitch.tv slash that game store. And if you like Smash Brothers, then feel free to tune in every Friday and get your Smash Brothers fix. All right. All right. Cool. But uh, yeah, man, we got winners finals coming up for you right now. We've got Sid the Hay sitting down our returning champion from last week going up against the uh, third place. Um, third place uh, uh, winner I guess you could say from last week as well so so we got Sid the Hayes versus Fuerte oh, you, you so this should be this should be a good match man Superman versus the Flash or Black Canary or Supergirl I don't know which character Sid's gonna be going with this time around <clears throat> Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content so far tonight. We are running a little bit behind schedule. We did get started a little bit late. We were having a lot of technical difficulties on top of waiting for Forte to show up. So, yeah, apologies, apologies, apologies. But it's looking like Black Canary versus Superman in this match. Begin. All right, so here we go. Start off with four, two, three, staple. Entire scoops, good damage because he has the trait active. Oh no! Ooh, nice check. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the the miss the miss grab. Where they just trying to walk him down. Ooh, nice jump. Uh, I'm not sure what button that is actually. with Superman. Nice. Good damage here. Oh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Good walk back from Forte. Alright, made it out the trait. Nice sweep. And again, anti air scoops from Superman. Alright, wants the corner pressure. Now we got some zoning going on. Knowing that Black Canary's trait was not full, backed away, shot some lasers so we couldn't get punished. Ooh, 4 2 3. The ultimate Fuzzy tool. 
Again, using dive bomb right there. I'm not sure exactly what he was going for. Oh! It's level 3 trade, but misses the back 3. Oh, she she bounces off the gator. He just chucks it at her. That's funny. Oh, there's the trait. And Sid forced the clash. Here comes the showstopper. Won't stop me. Oh, won't stop me. Ooh, nice check in the air from Forte. Tried to answer. Gets met with a jump too. Ooh. Depends on the character. So the fastest, the fastest I've seen is seven. Yeah. Um, Aquaman and uh, Supergirl. Not me to burn. Forces thing a lot of bar. Uses it. Forces Black Canary out. Has to be careful. She has level three traits. Ooh, Peter burns. Black three is the the trait. Oh, there's the grab. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Close to death. And jump lasers, no bueno. Misses the anti-air. Oh, oh no. And there's the clash. I like this clash though. Uh, I know what I would do in this situation. I I wouldn't have spent my meter because I would like to have had that meter burn laser. But he still gets it anyway. I would have taken the, the, the health loss just so I could have the EX laser for the chip. Pretty much guaranteed at that point. The Flash. Right. Fighters approaching Arkham Asylum. And Sid switching to his main. Going with the Flash. The Flash versus Begin. Superman. This time, starts with a down one. Ooh. Oh, Kelvin says he's going to play a better character. That's a good choice, though, actually. Yeah, that's what I tell everybody to pick. I tell everybody to pick Supergirl when I get past the lane stuff. Yeah. Go ahead, Doc. Uh, both him and uh, Kimpy play that character. Yeah, so you can ask him to tech. Alright, Sonic Pound. Push blocks, yes. Push blocks gets rid of, uh, gets rid of the Flash's trait. This is Superman we're talking about. All it takes is one hit. Ooh! Trade's gone. Oh, and up back two. Bet you didn't see that coming. Oh, just both players just dash in and immediately clashes. Does not want to take any sort of damage. All right, spins the bar. It's fifteen percent back. Oh, immediately charges back in. The wake up, whiffs. Back three, jump three. Knocks down running man stance for more pressure. Ooh, the whip punish on the down two. Look at the damage. Ouch! It's a new combo ender for Superman in this game. Ooh, shakes through and gets the chip. Spends the resources to get the health. Oh no, four, two, three gets jumped. Forte not playing as patient as he should have right there. He's gonna be close to death here. And cross up gets blocked. What they said, I've seen that before. Oh no. This could be bad. And gets the cross up. Good block on that low laser. I would have got hit. Ooh, Superman punch. No. Forte trying to lame it out some. Oh no! The 4 2 3 was in super slow motion. See, it ties it up 1 to 1. Alright. Try to scoop him there. Say getting that first health bar. Or his first uh, meter. Ooh, another whiff punish, but does not convert into any substantial damage. Just a juggle. Pretty much a corner carry here. Misses the ender. Oh no. This should make up the, again, another dive bomb. I'm not sure what this combo is supposed to be. And that's unblockable for power characters. Ooh, another whiff point is from Forte. Spins the meter. Oh, 
He went for double four threes. Misses. Oh, and he gets the side switch. And Forte with the with the reversal. Again, getting blocked. Playing a little bit too risky. Doesn't really need to. Oh, just walks right into a jump two. Jesus, and there's the clash. You can't outrun me, Barry. Eat my dust. Eat my dust. What are we in? Third grade? Fuerte just standing still. Going to sit there and let Sid come to him. Despite being at the life deficit. Gets to the below and techs out and gets opened up with the overhead. Jesus, the damage output was serious, and that's a down two. The flash wins. Sid, uh, Sid takes the lead here in this set, two to one. Begin. Nice up back later. Oh, hey. Whoa, base the wake up. Good neutral jump from Forte. If he jump low, he can ledge blast. Box. Oh, run straight into the uppercut. Forte over committing with these four twos. Text out and text the grab. Hopping not to use the interactable. Oh, delayed meter burn. Nice. Nothing more than a nice. Bates the face the down too. Well, oh, not that time. Oh my god. Forte now playing the lame stuff. Oh, meets him in the air. Alright. Stand jabs him out of the sky. Remember, don't blink. Went for the interactable at the worst possible time. Gets chased down into the corner. You can't outrun me, Barry. Then let's end it. Here and now. Both players spend one bar. Oh, meter burn back. Oh, that armor got blessed. The whiff Superman punch. Forte getting a little bit desperate. Oh, got caught backdashing. And there you have it. The flash wins. And Eric fell victim to the backdash glitch. Eric, stay there. We gotta play. Backdash glitch strikes again. Good lord. You just try to tech roll, you get that back dash. Hold that shit. Don't worry, friend. We all take that sometimes. Maybe in season two, Eric. All right, so we're going to the losers finals. It should be uh, Forte and Zap again. All right, man. Superman. I got a bunch of stuff to do. Fighters approaching the right. Joker's playground. <laughs> Yo, who did I stop?
All right, so Ari doing four two down one. Hmm. Options that try to zone a little bit. Zap ducking the check out, getting it down two, raising his fear toxin level. Hmm. Back three on this uh, frost breath. Ari not really ending it with the right special, but still getting damage nonetheless. Fear toxin on a uh, Superman right now. Ooh. Push blocks the pressure, probably the smartest move to do. Hmm. Eric going back to zoning. Is that trying to negate it a little bit with the fear toxin raise? Ooh, Rose is going to close out the first bar for uh, Forte. The Forte looking good in the first game. Nice uh, aerial escape from Zap. Costing two bars though. Probably well worth it. Eric, every time putting him back far in the screen for his zoning here. <clears throat> Looks like Zab's not really adjusting in this first game. And Eric's starting to close out real quick, yes. So Eric takes the first game relatively quickly. Hopefully Zap might be able to make some adjustments. Superman, Scarecrow, fighters approaching. Okay, so opting for a new stage. Uh, Zab goes back to character select. So leading 1-0 Forte in the second game. All right, in this slow game. Ooh, I think he thought it was gonna be a low laser, and Zab gets hit, giving Eric the first bar meter. Interactable. Scarecrow with no wake up, so pressure is very, very uh, strong against him on his wake up. Down two. Raising the fear toxin level. That low. Go for cross up. Pressure game. Eric actually choosing to be respectful and block. Lasers. Blocking the overhead, nice adjustment from Zap. Stopping the interaction from happening. More fear toxin. Hmm. Eric trying to jump out, getting caught by Zaps. I don't know what it really is a headbutt, but yeah, I don't know what it's called. I'm done holding back. Jump three, cross up, down one, in a command grab. We're gonna take the first bar, so we're relatively even now. Zap's slowly trying to push into the corner, keeping pressure on. Ooh, meter burns the interactable to push through. Down two from Zap. Putting more fear toxin on him. Ooh, command grab. Almost at a uh, top level. Trying to bait him with a one hit from the chain. I killed Joker, I'll kill you. This is nowhere yet. Alright, so Eric's probably gonna wager a lot. You have two bars pretty decent amount, it's half his uh, resource. He still has traits, so that's a big, uh, big, big uh, benchmark for uh, Superman still. Down two from Zap. Raising the fear toxin level. Okay, this would be big from uh, Zap, he, or Forte, I mean. Alright, so Zap's starting to spend some meter on this. Alright, flash tie. This could be big for uh, Zap right here. He has some medium. Down three. Hmm. And Eric with the laser goes on the second game. Superman wins. So I don't know if we'll see Scarecrow. Where's he Scarecrow again? Begin. Zap gonna play really well in these next three games if he wants to win. Jump three. Jump three again. Four, two, three, straight. Jumps, but gets caught by Zap's uh, EX uh, meter run. Goes command grab. Walks back. Ooh, interactable from Eric. I think that one's unblockable. More interactable. is catching Zap trying to press button in neutral. That, that trade's going to do a lot of damage right now. Back three. 
jump three. So finish the combo with Superman Punch. Quick we'll block from Zap, try to keep him out. Jump three, down one. A little bit of command grab, gonna keep the pressure on. Ooh, air jumps out though. Try to throw back to the corner, yes. Mm. You can't win this. The nightmare's just starting. Zap looking really good in this right now. So that's me the first bar down for uh, Zap. Forte is not out of this uh, this game right here. You can easily make a comeback, especially with Superman's trait. Air trying to zone him out right now. Like drastically whittling away his life bar. Mm. Nice uh, hit from Zap, but he didn't confirm into anything. And with the meter lead, it's going to be hard for him to really make it up. Yeah. All I just do is zone him out. Yeah, Zap really didn't have any options right there. And Superman wins. are taking it 3 0. That looks like a tough match for Scarecrow. That looks like a tough match, man. Yeah, I couldn't fucking get it. Thank you, Hudat, for stating the obvious. Appreciate it. Alright, so while we wait for them to hurry up so we can get this grand final started, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Alright, so here we go. Finally get grand finals underway. Uh, Sid the Hayes coming from winner's side versus Fuerte from the losers. Superman. So it's gonna be Superman versus Flash probably. Superman. The Flash. Fighters approaching slaughter swamp. So here we go. Sorry for the delay. We are back into it. Begin. And again, starting off a 4-2-3, really predictable, Superman, with this jump, and you're in the corner. And we get the grab. Oh, no conversion off the 1-1 string. Nice check with the down one. 4-2-3 breath. Ooh, catches him out of the trait. Breath. Oh, there's a bear trap. Catches him. Uh huh? Oh, nice air tag. I'm a fan. Ooh, should have done the, the ground laser. Told you I was fast. Runs into a 4 2 3. Oh, doesn't do enough to kill. Oh, there it is. All right. Flash sitting on a full stick of meter. Oh, that is unblockable. And sends the fast bastard full screen again. Ooh. He's checking the stomach. Ooh, four, two, three again. What an amazing strength. Ooh, nice check in the air from Forte. Oh, again! Oh, oh just running man stance in his face. 
He's been getting away with that quite a bit tonight. Oh, that down two was pretty active, friendo. Oh. Cross up gets blocked. Forte seen it before. Oh, punishes the raw. Oh, grabs him out of it. Is he dead? Woo! And Forte takes the first game. Begin. Immediate rematch from Sid Behaes. He might be on the cusps of a bracket reset and the crowning of a new champion. If Forte can manage to reset the bracket. And this is very reminiscent of how the last round started. Good block on the overhead. No punish. Ooh, that down two again. Foozies. Ooh. We're gonna get a side switch. Yep. Good tech from Forte. Spinning the meter. To stay in this round. Drops the combo though. And again, Sid knows his spacing. Did his homework. Backs away. Ooh. Again, another down two. So fast. Who'd have thought the flash would be so fast? Oh, that's a gator. Again, this is his opportunity to punish that running man stance. And 4-2-3 committal. Oh, hits him with the low laser. Oh, blocks the overhead. Gets clipped, and there's the clash from 4 Give up or get hurt. Eat my speed force. Eat his speed force. Nobody seemed to be a fan of that clash quote. Instead trying to uh, vibrate through. There it is. And there we got the lame stuff. Forte playing the matchup. Block the low. And it's going to be a lot of damage here. Jesus. And eats a 4-3 for his troubles. Sid ties it up 1-1. One one. Begin. Oh! Forte now getting hit to the getting hit to the tricks. Keeps him in the corner. That was weird as hell. I have no idea how you wound up on that side. But it's okay. Stay trying to bring it back. Over 50% damage off that combo. Oh, walks into another down too. Oof. Text again, but that's a bad... Oh, that's not punishing. That's a bad spot to tech. And then again, eats another down too. Again, eats another unblockable interactable. And the whiff punish. Good block. And this is going to be a life bar if Forte closes this. No, did not spin the meter. I could come back to bite him in the ass cheeks. Alright. Hope you've learned something. Hope you've learned something, you little prick. Oh no. Put the bear trap down, friendo. Oh, no punish on the can can kids. Sit down, Barry. Good push block. Raw Superman punch gets blocked. Overheads! You don't peace. There's the clash. You can't outrun me, Barry. Eat my dust. <laughs> Forte spins two bars. Before the clash, getting himself 15% back, and eats another overhead. Air takes out again, and that's going to be a dead Kryptonian. And Sid is now up 2-1. One more. Begin. One more. And we get the raw jump in. Already not looking too good. About 45%. There's a jump. A lot of jumping going on in that damn corner. Over the back three. Oops. Alright. 
And Flash building himself some meter while doing this. No punish. I don't know, I don't know if that's even punishable. Ah! Uh! Sonic Pound. Ah! It's unblockable. Uncle Jimbo's, uh, Uncle Jimbo's truck. Oh! Opted not to spin the meter. Oh, got greedy as fuck! And then try to do back two. No bueno. Wait till Iris hears this one. And we are now on the final life bar for Super Hayes. Eats an overhead for his trouble. Eight, eight. Man, oh my god. Cortex is getting opened up. You can't win this. Catch me if you can. Alright, he's gonna get 25% life back. He's trying to establish more zoning. It's not over yet. Clash is the ultimate comeback mechanic. Alright, spins the bar. And he neutral jumps from Sid the Hayes. Paying off. Oh, punches him for his trouble. Stop twerking on my stage. Oh no. Another jump in and the trait. Another corner carry. And oh no punish. Okay. Try to go for it again. I probably would have just gone for the damage. Sid just waiting. Trying to anticipate these four two threes with the neutral jumps. Oh my god, the trait call! And the panic button has been pushed and it's successful. It's gonna do a lot of damage. But still on life support is worth it. My god. Ooh, scoops. And there you go. And that's gonna be it. Sad boys. make up the distance again. Mm. The fear toxin takes the match for Zap. Scarecrow wins. Nice ass stink, Zap. Nice ass stink. <laughs> Begin. Mm. That's a bad op option to throw him out of the corner. Forte wanted the damage earlier. Breath. Blocking the overhead from Scarecrow. No meter to burn that uh, air later, so he could have probably been punished. Hmm, pressure from Zap. Plus, opens up Forte. Not a lot of damage. Is that poking out with the fear toxin thing? Or breathing in his face. Oh, nice back dash on the projectile from Zap. Your incompetence is scary. Meter burn dash. He has the sickest meter burn dash. Command grab. Alright, so the low catches in a forte right there. Is that trying to move in, make up the life that he's lost? Ooh, the laser catches, keeping him out. Teleports in, but to no avail. Clash from Zap. This is looking like a strong game for Forte right now. Zap wins the clash, getting a decent amount of life back, but not enough to take the lead. Almost all of it was taken back with that one punch. This could be a big game changer. And Forte clashes. Enough with the gas. He's definitely gonna win this if he chooses to, or he could choose to keep his meter and, and keep it tied. 
Okay, so he gets a little bit of life back. Keeping the deficit is pretty big. No punishment for time, but down two. Nice tech from Zap. A big Superman fist from Forte, taking his second game. Superman wins. Begin. Four two three trait. Four two three breath. Back three. Jump three. Ooh, finishes the four two Superman. Begin. And again, starting off the four two three, really predictable. Superman will just jump, and you're in the corner. Grab. Oh, no conversion off the 1 1 string. Nice check with the down one. 4 2 3 breath. Ooh, catches him out of the trait. Breath. Oh, there's a bear trap. Catches him. Uh huh. Oh, nice air tag. I'm a fan. Ooh, should've done the the ground these there. Told you I was fast. Runs into a four-two-three. Oh, doesn't do enough to kill. Oh, there it is. All right. Flash it on a full stick of meter. Cool, that is unblockable. And. Sends the fast bastard full screen again. Ooh. He's checking the stomach. Ooh, 4 2 3 again. What an amazing strength. Ooh. Nice check in the air from Forte. Oh, again! Oh. oh, just running man stance in his face. He's been getting away with that quite a bit tonight. Oh, that down two was pretty active, friendo. Oh. Cross up gets blocked. Forte seen it before. Oh, punishes the raw. Oh, grabs him out of it. Is he dead? Ooh. And Forte takes the first game. Begin. Immediate rematch from Sid the Hayes. We might be on the cusps of a bracket reset and the crowning of a new champion if we're taking minutes to reset the bracket. And this is very reminiscent of how the last round started. Good block on the overhead. No punish. Ooh, that down two again. Foozies. Ooh. We're going to get a side switch. Yep. Good tech from Forte. Spinning the meter. To stay in this round. Drops the combo, though. And again, Sid knows his spacing. Did his homework. Backs away. Oof. Again, another down two. So fast. Who'd have thought the flash would be so fast? Oh, that's a gator. Blue Beetle. Scarecrow. Fighters approaching Gorilla City. Mm. So Antle opting to switch characters, thinking this will be a better uh, choice for this matchup. Begin. So down two with trying to see if Angel is trying to press buttons forward. So Angel has the first bar meter in this set, changing the pace of the game. All right, so Angel is going to run away and zone in zone in this kind of variation too. Anthro punished himself, but he didn't really do anything with it. So that so can get this uh, combo, Fear Toxin. Tries to check him with a low, the low wisp, but still canceling into his uh, hooks. Fear Toxin. He's at max right now. So I'm looking to see like a command grab somewhere in here. Hmm. Weird uh, juggle from that, but hey, it works out. Low profile in the projectile. I know it's a high, but he's low over the ground on me. Hmm. 
So these uh, jump numbers are being uncontested by Angelo in any way. Grab from Angelo, switching positions. Down one from Zap, pressure. Opening him up. You're freaking out the scarab! That's the point. Alright, so Zap jump two, gets a combo. Pulls him in like he's keeping him really close, which is really smart because he's more of a zone heavy character in this uh, stance. Alright, so Zap jumping in and still no nothing to contest it from Angelo. Alright, so air to air from Angelo finally taking the first bar from Zap. Zap on the way to closing the set out too. 3 0. The Fear Toxin taking a little bit of effect on uh, Blue Beetle as well. The back three. And. Uh, that is jump three. Jump two hits. Uh, lateral. And uh, jump three has a disjointed hitbox where it scoops. So. 3 0. These boys. Who we got? Sid and uh, Forte? Sid and Eric. You want this? Yeah, let me get on here, man. We do shit. Yeah, someone tell Forte to come back in here. I can beat you one handed. Oh. Man, it's a clash. Dark Steel with an early clash too. Could have probably taken some more some more damage before spinning his bar. Or spinning his clash has to say. Ooh, the whiff punch! And he jumps. Darksteel now opting to go for the lame game. Just typically how it goes. Darksteel starts losing in the, in the up close range, so he starts playing more lame style. Ooh. Kelvin just trying to use all of his wake up options, and they're all landing nothing. Ugh. And he gets tackled for his troubles. Darksteel takes game number two. And an immediate rematch. Kelvin just trying to work his way in. Finally gets his way in. Could have probably down two. Oh. Oh. Not still getting opened up in the corner. Oh. Completely crapped on in the corner. Meter burns. Dark still not respecting it. It's a battering on the ground. Shit! Ooh, lands a back three. And Dark still not clashing. Holding on to the full stick of butter. Gets opened up again. And there's the clash. Called it a draw? Quit embarrassing yourself. Ooh, wake up assassin's run? Man's living on the edge. Oh, there's the grab. Oh, that down two looks really bad. And again, with another wake up. Kelvin's got to try baiting those. Maybe a meter burn back three for the armor? Because it only hits once. Ah. Uh. Reading the toxin in him. Gets to check him. Ooh, nice back dash from Angelo to avoid. Down three. Ooh, not punishable, but he does get mixed. So jump two ends up connecting. They're buffing in the flames. Yo, nice beams. These loads. Burning a little bit of the health with that damage over time. Overhead. 
your shoe. Anti-air projectile to close out the first life bar for Angelo. Still the first game. Ooh, nice interactable. Interactable from Zap. Trying to get this damage while he can. Putting the fear toxin on. Hmm. Throws the bag. Doesn't hit, but it's a good strategy. The pressure into the command grab. Nice meter burn back through from Angelo. We go for the low. Nice meter burn dash from uh, Zab. Keeping the pressure. Down one to interrupt. <laughs> the, the toxin actually killing Angelo when he dashed forward. So Zab's going to take it with the round one stink. Begin. J jump three connecting. Zab's so far 100% on the first bar of meter in this set. Slowly walking him to the corner, one of the zoner's least favorite places to be. The pressure, look at this. Command grab. Can we get another one? Ooh, jump three to take out the first bar. Angelo's showing no real answer for what Zap's doing pressure wise in this corner situation. More pressure. Tries to be greedy poking out, he's checked for it. Angelo has no real answer, just just getting hurt everywhere, like there's nothing he's really doing. So, that low has not been uh, proving well for Angelo after the first round already. That was great defensive skills right now. Man grab. On tilt right now. The back dash gets caught. Jump in, and the jump three connects Angelo, pressing button, so Zap's gonna go up a quick scoot over right now. Win. Too. Oh, not that time. Oh my god. Forte now playing the lame stuff. Oh, meets him in the air. Alright. Stan jabs him out of the sky. Remember, don't blink. Went for the interactable at the worst possible time. Gets chased down into the corner. You can't outrun me, Barry. Then let's end it. Here and now. Both players spend one bar. Oh, meter burn back. Oh, that armor got blessed! The whiff Superman punch. Forte getting a little bit desperate. Oh, got caught back dashing. And there you have it. The Flash wins. And Eric fell victim to the backdash glitch. Eric, stay there. We gotta play. Backdash glitch strikes again. Good lord. You just try to tech roll, you get that backdash. Hold that shit. Don't worry, friend. We all take that sometimes. Maybe it's season two, Eric. <laughs> All right, so we're going to the losers' finals. It should be uh, Forte and Zap again. All right, man. Superman. I got a bunch of stuff to do. Scarecrow, fighters approaching the right. Joker's playground. Yo, who did I stop? Begin. All right, so Eric doing four two down one. Hmm. 
Option is to try to zone a little bit. Zap ducking the projectile, getting it down to raising his fear toxin level. Back three on this uh, frost breath. Hey, you're not really ending it with the right special, but still getting damage nonetheless. Fear toxin on uh, Superman right now. Ooh. Push box the pressure, probably the smartest move to do. Eric going back to zoning. But he's alright. He's closing the gap on the life lead. Oh my god. The reel back on the 4 3. And Kelvin clashes. He's going to be able to get 15% of his life back with this clash. And Dark Steel realizing the situation that's at hand. He's one win away from. Or excuse me, one round away from losing and being eliminated from this tournament. There's the, oh, there's the meter burn. A little too low to the ground. Missed the conversion. And are still, once again, creating more real estate. Ooh, lands the jump in. Down one, there's a sweep, and there's a dung beetle. Blue beetle wins. And it is now two to two. Begin. Last game of the set. Kelvin landing first blood here, getting the meter advantage. And positioning on the screen, but swap sides as soon as I say that. Ooh. And the zoning just too strong right now. Dark Steel just basically giving up on playing the close range game. And just gonna adopt the zoning strategy here. Not punish. The inability to punish that uh, that shoulder tackle or the charge from Blue Beetle is being a real nuisance right now to Kelvin. So mash more down ones. Ooh! Kelvin, just look at the damage. And anybody gets a throw. First throw of the game. The pain isn't over yet. Oh, that's an overhead. Or excuse me, a mid. I'm bugging. Uh, this is Blue Beetle. Get it, bugging. Dark Steel walking up getting the punish. Ooh! Assassin's runs all the way in. Ooh, opens up Dark Steel. Oh no. Oh, Dark Steel get opened up again! Forces the clap. And Sid is now up. 2-1. One more. Begin. One more. And we get the raw jump in. Already not looking too good. About 45%. There's a jump. A lot of jumping going on in that damn corner. Hold it back three. Oops. Alright. And Flash building himself some meter while doing this. No punish. I know. I don't know if that's even punishable. Ugh! Sonic pound. Ah, it's unblockable. Uncle Jimbo's. Uh, Uncle Jimbo's truck. Oh! Opted not to spin the meter. Oh God, greedy as fuck! And then try to do back two. No bueno. Iris this one. We are now on the final life bar for Sid the Haze. Eats an overhead for his trouble. 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh my god. Cortex is getting opened up. You can't win this. Catch me if you can. Alright, 
trying to get 25% life back. He's trying to establish some more zoning. It's not over yet. Clash is the ultimate comeback mechanic. Alright, spins the bar. And he neutral jumps from Sid to Hayes. Paying off. Oh, punches him for his trouble. Stop twerking on my stage. Oh no. Another jump in and a trait. Another corner carry. And oh no punish. Okay. Try to go for it again. I probably would have just gone for the damage. They're just waiting. Trying to anticipate these four two threes with the neutral jumps. Oh my god, the trait call! And the panic button has been pushed and it's successful. It's gonna do a lot of damage. But still on life support is worth it. My god. Ooh, scoops. And there you go. And that's gonna be it. Sad boys. So, the low catches in a forte right there. Is that trying to move in and make up the life that he's lost? Ooh, the laser catches, keeping him out. Teleport's in, but to no avail. Clash from Zab. This looking like a strong game for forte that right now. Me off. Zap wins the Clash, getting a decent amount of life back. Not enough to take the lead. Almost all of it was taken back with that one punch. This could be a big game changer. Forte clashes. Enough with the gas. He's definitely gonna win this if he chooses to, or he could choose to keep his meter and, and keep it tied. Okay, so he gets a little bit of life back, keeping the deficit pretty big. No punish from Forte on the down two. Mm. Nice tech from Zap. The big Superman fist from Forte, taking his second game. Superman wins. Begin. 4 2 3 trait, 4 2 3 breath, back 3, jump 3, Ooh, finishes the 4 2 Superman punch. Hmm. Of course, they were relentless with these 4 2 3s right now. Is that trying to mount some offense? 4 3 block, but 4 2 catches him in the jaw. Jumps in, almost gets her set. Alright, this will be a big uh, potential for Zap. Ooh, nice Khmer draw, because he's expecting to have to block something. Nice Khmer, that should be the first bar. Now, if Zap plays this right, he can actually get a good life lead for the second bar. Down one, to keep it him honest. Admit your defeat. Nightmare's not over. Alright, though that cross up from Zap was really nasty. He didn't really get much off of it, but it's still sick. It's looking like it could be Zap's game going to game five. The interactable hit set though. The laser zoning from uh, Forte right now is really strong, especially with trade on. That means the final way. Ooh, nice full screen big. Just enough to get in. Okay, this could be big. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so no button check. We're gonna be going straight into it. Begin. Darkstar starts off with a sweep on the overhead low. Walk back from Kelvin. That's the back three. There we go. So it drops the ender though. Really good damage though. That gave him a little bit of a life lead. Oh, 
Oh, good back range. Uh, excuse me. Good range on the back, too. Mm. Mm. And we have invulnerable wake up, so we don't care about your mix. That is a big beam, sir. All this and good looks, too. Nice, chases him in out of the air with the sword. Oh, misses meter burning look like. Try to keep himself safe. Oh. Still not bursting or clashing, I should say. He's so safe. Guard still mashing out that reversal. Ooh! Trying to go for the dung beetle. Oh, punish! Uh, no punish from Kelvin. It's okay. Back three. Another back three. Ooh! Oh, is that gonna hit? Oh! <laughs> Robin wins. Kelvin takes the first game. Begin. Very reminiscent of how the last game started. Dark Steel. Getting the first combo open. Good box. I love the sound effects on the metal sword, though. Pretty good. Meter burn rolls to get in, but they just die right past each other. Good box. That's still just kind of mashing his strings out right now. Oh, run straight into the uppercut. Forte overcommitting with these four twos. Text out and text the grab. Hopping not to use the interactable. Oh, delayed meter burn. Nice. Nice. Bates the base the down too. Well, oh, not that time. Oh my god. Forte now playing the lame stuff. Oh, meets him in the air. Alright. Stan jabs him out of the sky. Remember, don't blink. Went for the interactable at the worst possible time. Gets chased down into the corner. You can't outrun me, Barry. Then let's end it. Here and now. Both players spend one bar. Oh, meter burn back. Oh, that armor got blessed! The with Superman punch. Forte getting a little bit desperate. Oh, got caught backdashing. And there you have it. The Flash wins. And Eric fell victim to the backdash glitch. Eric, stay there. We gotta play. Backdash glitch strikes again. Good lord! You just try to tech roll, you get that back dash, hold that shit. Don't worry, friend. We all take that sometimes. Maybe it's season two, Eric. All right, so we're going to the losers finals. It should be uh, Forte and Zap again. All right, man. Superman. 
I got a bunch of stuff to do. Alright. <laughs> Yo, who did I stop? Alright, so... Aerie doing 4-2 down 1. Hmm. Options to try to zone a little bit. Zap ducking the projectile. Getting it down 2. Gonna keep... Ooh, nice back dash from Forte to get out of the pressure. Alright, so this could be big for uh, Eric. Ooh, the reset. It's gonna be big. Mm. And the normal doesn't hit Superman in time. And Zap Superman unfortunately wins. is sent to loser in a heartbreaking finish. Broken heart. Hmm? Heartbreaker. Yeah, that fucking, um, that jump too. That jump too lost to the laser. I, it was coming out. Yeah. This. Alright, so let's see here. Kelvin won. Let's see what we got up next. Angelo, play Kelvin. Yo, Kelvin! So up next we're gonna have Kelvin versus Dark Steel. Kelvin's gonna be rocking Robin. Let's see. Dark Steel's probably gonna be playing either what? Firestorm or Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle. He's rocking Blue Beetle. Robin. Fighters approaching Gorilla City. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so no button check. We're gonna be going straight into it. Begin. Dark Steel starts off with a sweep and the overhead low. Walk back from Kelvin. That's the back three. There we go. But drops the ender though. Really good damage though. That gave him a little bit of a life lead. Uh, Thursdays we have our FGC night. You know when we have our big numbers for like Street Fighter Five and Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue and stuff like that. We will be streaming those as well. Just that right now everyone's kind of like on the on the on the downswing as far as Street Fighter Five because of the uh, upcoming patch. But once the patch drops, I'm pretty sure more of the Street Fighter guys will be coming out on a regular basis again. But for right now, if you guys want to get your weekly Injustice fix, feel free to click that follow button on twitch.tv slash thatgamestore. And if you like Smash Brothers, then feel free to tune in every Friday and get your Smash Brothers fix. Alright? Alright. Cool. But uh, yeah, man. We got Winner's Finals coming up for you right now. We've got Sid the Hay sitting down, our returning champion from last week. Going up against the uh, third place, um, third place uh, uh, winner, I guess you could say, from last week as well. So, so we got Sid the Hayes versus Fuerte. Oh, okay. So this should be this should be a good match, man. Superman versus the Flash, or Black Canary, or Supergirl. I don't know which character Sid's going to be going with this time around. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content so far tonight. 
We are running a little bit behind schedule. We did get started a little bit late. We were having a lot of technical difficulties on top of waiting for Forte to show up. So, yeah, apologies, apologies, apologies. But it's looking like Black Canary versus Superman in this match. Begin. All right, so here we go. Starts off with four, two, three, staple. Entire scoops, good damage because he has the trait active. Oh no. Ooh, nice check. Mm. Okay. Oh, the, the miss, the miss grab. Where is trying to walk him down? Ooh, nice jump. Uh, I'm not sure what button that is actually with Superman. Nice, good damage here. Oh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Good walk back from Forte. Alright, baited out the trait. Nice sweep. And again, entire scoops from Superman. Alright, he wants the corner pressure. Now we got some zoning going on. Knowing that Black Canary's trait was not full, backed away, shot some lasers so we couldn't get punished. Ooh, 4 2 3. The ultimate Fuzzy tool. Again, using Dive Bomb right there. I'm not sure exactly what he was going for. Oh! It's level 3 trait, but misses the back 3. Oh, she. She. Oh, doesn't do enough to kill. Oh, there it is. Alright. Flash it on a full stick of meter. Cool, that is unblockable. And sends the fast bastard full screen again. Ooh. He's checking the stomach. Ooh, 4 2 3 again. What an amazing strength. Ooh, nice check in the air from Forte. Oh, again! Oh. oh, just running man stance in his face. He's been getting away with that quite a bit tonight. Oh, that down two is pretty active, friendo. Oh! Cross up gets blocked. Forte seen it before. Oh, punishes. The raw oh grabs him out of it. Is he dead? Ooh! And Forte takes the first game. Begin. Immediate rematch from Sid the Hayes. He might be on the cusps of a bracket reset and the crowning of a new champion. If Forte can manage to reset the bracket, and this is very reminiscent of how the last round started. Good block on the overhead. No punish. Ooh, that down two again. Fuzzies. Ooh. We're gonna get a side switch. Yep. Good tech from Forte. Spinning the meter. To stay in this round. Drops the combo though. And again, Sid knows his spacing. Did his homework. Backs away. Ooh. Again, another down too. So fast. Who'd have thought the flash would be so fast? Oh, that's a gator. Again, this is his opportunity to punish that running man stance. And 4 2 3 committal. Oh, hits him with the low laser. Oh, blocks the overhead. Gets clipped, and there's the clash from 4K. Eat my speed force. Eat his speed force. Nobody seemed to be a fan of that clash quote. Instead, trying to uh, vibrate through. There it is. And there we got the lame stuff. Forte playing the matchup. Block below. And it's gonna be a lot of damage here. Jesus. And eats a 4-3 for his troubles. Sid ties it up. One to be able to get 15% of his life back with this clash. Dark Steel realizing the situation that's at hand. He's one win away from, or excuse me, one round away from losing and being eliminated from this tournament. There's the, oh, there's the meter burn. 
A little too low to the ground, missed the conversion. And Darcyl, once again, creating more real estate. Ooh, lands the jump in. Ooh, the down one, there's a the sweep, and there's the dung beetle. And it is now two to two. Begin. Last game of the set. Kelvin landing first blood here, getting the meter advantage. And positioning on the screen, but swap sides as soon as I say that. Ooh. And the zoning just too strong right now. Dark Steel just basically giving up on playing the close range game and just gonna adopt the zoning strategy here. Not punish. The inability to punish that uh, that shoulder tackle or the charge from Blue Beetle is being a real nuisance right now to Kelvin. So mash more down ones. Ooh! Elvin, just look at the damage. And anybody gets a throw, first throw of the game. The pain isn't over yet. Oh, that's an overhead. Or excuse me, a mid. I'm bugging. Uh, this is Blue Beetle. Get it, bugging. Dark Steel walking up getting the punish. Ooh, Assassin's runs all the way in. Ooh, opens up Dark Steel. Oh no. Oh, Dark Steel get opened up again. Forces the clash. He can't save you. Alright, spins his resources. He's in! Gets the knockdown. Does not respect the wake up though. Dark Steel. Uh, benchmark for uh, Superman still. Down two from Zap. Raising the fear toxin level. Okay, this would be big from uh, Zap. He, or what's that? He. You couldn't be. Alright, so Zap's starting to spend some meter on this. You asked for it. Alright, flash tie. Oh, this would be big for uh, Zap right here. He has some medium. Down three. Hmm. And Eric with the laser goes on the second game. Superman wins. So I don't know if we'll see Scarecrow. Where is he Scarecrow again? Begin. Zach gonna have to play really well in his next three games if he wants to win. Hmm. Jump three. Jump three again. Four, two, three, straight. Jumps, but gets caught by Zap's uh, EX uh, meter. Oh, it's command grab. Walks back. Ooh, interactable from Eric. I think that one's unblockable. More interactable is catching Zap trying to press button in neutral. And that that trade's going to do a lot of damage right now. Back three. Jump three. Finish the combo with Superman Punch. Quick quit block from Zap try to keep him out. Nightmares are real. Jump three, down one. A little bit of command grab, gonna keep the pressure on. Ooh, air jumps out though. Try to throw back to the corner, yes. Is that looking really good in this right now? So that's me the first bar down for uh, Zap. Forte is not out of this uh, this game right here. You can easily make a comeback, especially with Superman's trait. Mm, 
Air trying to zone him out right now. <laughs> like drastically whittling away his life bar. <laughs> nice uh, hit from Zappa, he didn't confirm into anything. And with the meter lead, it's gonna be hard for her to really make it up. Yeah. All he has to do is zone him out. Yeah, Zap really didn't have any options right there. Superman wins. Fortnite's taking it 3-0. That looks like a tough match.